gonna count it for us. From here. Yeah. Wait, why is there an un explorer again? Excuse me. Didn't I have been through it like multiple times by uh, uh, this point? Uh, let's reset the counter. I mean, I'm not an immediate danger. I mean, look at that power level. Gosh. We should be able to get inside the Holy Smart ship from here. Alex and his wife arrived at the base of the giant the spaceship. I don't see any doors throughout here. Yes, and I don't think I could smash a hole open with my hammer. Alex studied the vessel and realized that it was made of a material similar to Royal Guardian's plates. Then press is not going to open unless we input the correct password on this terminal. Ah, so it works uh, uh, the same way It's that gate that was blocking the road to Kalar village. Yes, that's a similar contraption that the horror set up to protect our village. Bonnie turned towards the nearby monitor and moved her slider fingers over its smooth surface. Look at my incredible... Hacker skills! As you can see, yeah... <laughs> Wait, is that what it says? I don't know how I caught it so quickly, honestly. Yeah, hacker skills. <laughs> wow, you remember all that? And now, if I press enter... Well, then... The color jumped with surprise at the sound and looked at the eyes with an embarrassed smile. <gasps> uh, uh... uh how strange! Well, the password was ex exaggeratedly complex. Did you write it down somewhere to be sure that you're uh, remembering it correctly? Not really. It has been passed down to generations by word of mouth to make sure no outsiders could learn about it. Anyway, I must have made the mistake with the buttons. I'll be more careful this time. But why? Oh, Bonnie, I do hate to put even more pressure on you, but you know, the fate of humankind is sort of depending on your memory right now. Yeah, thanks. That's definitely not helping. It's the first time I'm trying to open the stick myself. Stop right there. What are you guys doing? A couple of armed cowards approached Alex and his ghost in front of the horse machine. Wait, Bonnie? What are you doing here? Hello, girls. I was trying to open the entrance to the marship, but the passport doesn't seem to be working. <gasps> Can I give it a try? My grandmother taught me the password as well. Wait, wait. This letter right here. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be lowercase. And this wasn't a small L. I think it should be a big L. The two colors pushed Bonnie away from the terminal and started moving her fingers on its surface. It opened! <sighs> the captain of the sea colors heaved a long sigh of relief with a hand on her chest. Well, now that matters is that we've managed to open the entrance. The password was way too complex. You can't blame her for making a few mistakes. Thanks for the help, Bonnie! Alright, we're going to get to the Horde Smash to explore it! Okay, best of luck! I'll go back to the Royal Garden and tell my lady about what happened! Yay! Plus I always wanted to get the circus pig thingy! The interior is bigger than I thought! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I can't believe I'm going to explore the Horde Smash again! I'm so happy that I could take off my clothes and start dancing naked! Please sounds. And don't forget that we are here to find info on how to start the Animus Reactor. Alright, let's go. I can turn Snake and Lager. Alex and his wives opened the Nexus, the uh, Horus Mothership, and stepped inside it. Awesome. God damn it.
Oh, the end lights. Wow. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The Wizards of Daddy are divided into several different rooms by metallic balls. I'm not sure I could ever live in a place like this, but I guess it just feels like a home to uh, Horus. It all depends on what kind of environment you grew up in. I mean, it took me a while to get accustomed to reason after I came to live with you. Kinda. I can feel the presence of many enemies inside. Yep! There's a whole lot! Weird. Maybe the monsters found a way in? I doubt it. It must be a bunch of horror contraptions that haven't created to ward off intruders. We never get a break from all these battles, huh? Hey, no worries. I'm sure we can take them on. Let's take a look around while keeping our guard up, alright? No, no. I wonder what kinds of new amazing discoveries we're going to find in here. I can't wait! Hmm? I just heard a familiar voice and turned around to look at the uh, look at his party. Only as usual, four wives were accompanying him. It must have been my imagination. Let's go, girls. Alex and his wife stepped into the, uh, into the depths of the horse mothership to find a way to set the animus reactor. That's the case. New animal girl? Well? Oh, Krillin! Oh wow! That that, that that's worth some nice. Oh, that was a tornado. It hit tornado kicks. Damn! This is jeez. Quite a lot of uh, health out of us. Nice America, everybody. Anyways, <laughs> it's so silly. What if you stick it in there? Hmm? Alex and Mr. Putnam had been muttering something to herself for a while? Putnam is not sure what that is. But maybe if you ask Alex... Yes, <laughs> oh, she's talking with Cutie probably. You should probably talk with them about that. Putnam, who are you talking to? Ah! But Putnam is just talking to Platina? And everything is gay? Uh, sure? <laughs> Do you think that her partner may have made a new imaginary friend? Oh, come on. She's not a kid. Yeah. Any Charl. No worries. You shouldn't feel so embarrassed about it. You were being possessed by your mother's ghost. My situation was completely different. There's something on the floor here. Kyle found a rectangular device with a shiny glass on one side and crouched down to poke at it. Huh? It's the same size as the poor Max I usually read. <laughs> Maybe it's a horror spec? I was glanced at the strange appliance but eventually decided to leave it where it was. Oh well, it's probably just fresh, let's keep going. Wow! <laughs> Some drunk partner? Um, wait a sec. What? Oh, okay. Um, let me show that's a tablet. A tablet? Platinum, have you ever seen one of these things before? Um, maybe? But not for sure. It's crazy useful. We should really, really take it with us. Huh? Okay. I mean, it looks pretty sturdy. Maybe Yuragi can use it as a shield? You think? I get the feeling that it would break right after blocking the first attack. Yuragi picked up the, tab the tablet and tried to fold it with her hands. Yuragi, stop! Don't break it! Huh? Huh? I'm sorry, did I do something I should have done? Here, yeah, partner, it's probably better if you keep it. Okay, thanks. 
The half dragon took the strange device and after staring at it for a moment. Ah, you can use it as a fan. She started shaking it from one of its edges to blow some cool air to her face. You should get a normal folding fan if you're feeling hot. Remember how we used her notebooks the same way during the summer classes at the academy? And I'm Let's take care of this, it could come in handy later. Alex and his wife obtained a mysterious tablet and resumed exploring the Horus Marship. Alright. <gasps> Found one! Fatna let out a surprise remark and picked up a round piece of metal from the ground. What's that? It looks like some kind of coin, but it's definitely not gold. The mysterious token was covered in a thin yellow coating and didn't look too valuable. Hey, the ghost mother sea caliber gate may end up thinking that we are trying to counterfeit money. I don't want to be arrested. Leave it where it was. <gasps> but... But... That's it like a real waste. But we don't know what to do with it. Well, now, do you know what it is used for? Um, it's a token used to roll to catch her? Or to play video games at the arcades? Huh? What are you even talking about? Alex felt like his wife was repeating a series of nonsensical words whispered to her by an invisible entity. It's crypto! Currency? So, um, it's like, not real money? But it's also money somehow? The value! Fluctuates and if it's dead coin, you're gonna make less money during the golden bull run. Dead coin? I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but it has a nice ring to it. A golden bull run? Are you thinking about golden bull monsters competing in a race against each other? Um, um, wait, slow down! Platinum doesn't get what you're seeing, we are talking that fast! <laughs> I'm not sure what you're talking about, but you sure are cute and flustered. Look, this is getting ridiculous. Just reveal yourself already. What? No head snowist? I must have underestimated D. Cutie's voice suddenly resonated, resonated through everyone's minds. What? You were trying to spy on us or something? Don't oh, shut up! I was just so this a bit interested in exploring the Holy Smile ship myself. So you were the one talking to Platinum? Sorry, she said not to tell anyone. Oh, come on, why, did, why didn't you tell us? She was too embarrassed to do that after refusing to help you. Why I don't tell them these unnecessary details again? Honestly, we're gonna cut across tons of contraptions that we have no idea how to use. What if you told us everything you know about them in exchange for letting you tag uh, let letting you tag along? Hmm. Scratch my back, I scratch time, is it? Very well, that sounds acceptable. Yeah, finally! It was really annoying going to repeat all that weird stuff. Excuse me, Miss Cutie. Do you know what this coin is used for? You already grabbed the strange token from Platna and studied it from both sides. These are currency used to add different functions to the tablet ye picked up earlier. You mean this four max size board we found a while ago? Indeed. It contains all kinds of data on the horror civilization that Do can't display on its surface. So it's like a portable version of the terminals we found in Ishtab's settlement. I know it. They did use Horus technology after all. Each entry has a specific cost, and to buy what thou wish to read, thou has to use those coins. Huh? Okay. So we need these things. Thou canst also use to roll the gacha on several games. They're pretty rare. I'm not sure what the gacha is supposed to be, but if you say so... <laughs> so, this token is going to let us learn more about the Animus Vector Riot, 
Do not use for the gadget, please, counts. Do not even think about it. Stay here and... Uh, just stay here regarding gadget. Chow grabbed the tablet from Butler and approached Draghi, who was holding the coin. Um... What should I do with it? Um... What's the coin? Please tell us everything you know about the Animus Reactor. Okay. The girl released the token high in the air, but the tablet didn't show any change. It's not working! Maybe I need that to be louder! <laughs> Where though? An old grandma is using a smartphone for her first, first time? Yes. Try placing the coin on top of the tablet that your friend is holding? Like this? Eee! It made a weird sound! That means it's charged correctly? But the coin is still here? This put an empty shell now. The value that was stored inside is now in the tablet? <gasps> something, uh, something is appearing on the surface of, uh, of this thing. The tablet lit up and displayed several letters on its glassy surface? Let's see. I guess these must be the titles of the articles we can read? This month's content. How the fuck a girl you've just met? Secrets to cooking a juicy steak. 18 years old. Nudes. Scoop. The career guy. Stop disgraceful Roge. Play now. SM The Animus Factor Part 1, Part 2, and bonus. Oh, bonus. Look! There are free entries about the Animus Reactor! But what's up with these other articles? It feels like we're reading one of those trashy magazines full of ads that you usually get for free. Should we start from the top and beat the hot to fire girl you've just met Anthony first? Hmm... Yeah, no. Just making sure we're on the same page. But we're reading the articles of the Animus Reactor first. You can check the rest of the we're done with that. <sighs> Cheryl gave her eyes with an exasperated glare and pressed a pointer on one of the entries. <gasps> Is that working? Maybe it operates differently compared to the terminals we found in Ishtap settlement? Nah, don't need more credits. We have just paid with that coin. That all the code the fee needed to operate the, uh, operate the device. Well, that sucks. You need to find more coins if you want to lock these to those articles. Wow, that sounds annoying. And that I ported the Animus Reactor is put into three different entries. What a pain. Maybe we will be able to find more coins around the ship, I wonder? The horse used them a lot. I'm sure there must be a bunch around. Let's keep an eye open while exploring the ship then. We need at least three more coins to read out the entries of the Animus Reactor. But... Look, we don't need to read the other ones. Uh... I was QD with the luck side. I don't see the client the mothership with the girls. But I wanna read porn! There's a big door here. That looks like a teleportation thingy. That must say that a tightly shut barrier without any apparent keyhole. Kana, do you think you can open it? <laughs> no way! I can't even tell where the lock is! I know it. What do you mean I knew it? What with the goon smash on it? Let's keep that idea as our last resort. We may find a way to open it around the ship. Yeah, it looks like it's leading to a dead end anyway. Let's explore the rest of the marriage ship for now. Alex and his wife backed away from the locked door and resumed exploring the spaceship. I don't think it's going to open just by staring at it. Well, I, I could wish for it. Let's take a look around the battleship for now. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is this? 
Rikar! Jesus! Do not take out my... Healer! Ah! Platina! Jeez. And there goes Alex. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm not touching the I'm not touching the experience. Unless I decide to there's a smash mark in there. Unless I decide to level up or something. Chest! Terrible seven hundred percent damage! Yes, it's ever bolted an enemy! Deal seven hundred percent damage! And your element attribute! Rarub. I'll give it a spin, sure. I'll get to the explanation mark at some point. Let me explore first. Ooh, chesticles! It's our 9000! Oh, an arrow exclamation mark? No, I ain't touching it. I want to try out that uh, terrible thingy. Not my platina, please! Please! You son of a bitch! <laughs> let me just let me try it out! Come on! That looks like a punch! Wait, double? Thanks. God damn it, I have to teleport out. I'm gonna buy a little bit too damage over here. Alright, what's over here? An arrow exclamation mark? That is dead? And the uh, no? Ah, that's it. Don't have to take my platina! I want to try out your lucky bolt! Ooh. I played that spinny boy like a. Right, there we go. I played that. I played that. I played that spinny boy like a uh, pen. Like pens. I played the boy ball with a lightning. Chest. That's. Cut! Alright, you can get the. Uh, Outer Lightning ability back. Hmm. Are they gonna hear it so far? Maybe later? Probably later. I want the chest to go. Oh, speed boost for Alex. Thanks, game. Do we have any skill points for that? No, zero. We'll get to this explanation mark uh, later. Oh, they are labyrinth. 
Thanks, Canoes. What is that chase? Wow. I have to teleport out again. Uh, but for that, first guard, plus four guard, battle start. Free steel points! For fuck sake! Fifth position to protect one's companion, starts battles with the guard, counter at four. Uh, first of all, let's guard! I gotta go back home again, look at this! I'll go uh, this place exclamation mark which was here I think yeah ah I have fun in there one of those coins you like I collected a metallic token from a small gap in the ground why aren't they always inside these cracks this coin is different from the others you're right there is a chef hack uh, depicted over this one Okay, it's probably going to work anyway. Let's get it right. <gasps> it looks like we can choose only one entry this time. That's a special coin used to unlock articles about the specific topic. What can we read this time? Let's see. Secrets to cooking a juicy steak? Well, I guess we could give it a look. Yes, I'm sure it's going to be very... I mean, they're even making people pay for it. Scumbags. I still doubt that our husband's cooking could get any better, but... Oh, well. Alex and the girls went over the article together, but only gained a craving for a juicy steak. <laughs> God damn it. Stay this! Oh God, anyways. Again, we'll learn something delicious, so I'll allow it. Stop fingering my girls. Go away. Shoot. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah, let's go up. There was an exclamation mark in there. Then again, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go to the, uh, the exclamation mark. Where probably contains a coin. Three people are ready for level up. After a couple more battles, so will Alex and Tobaki. What's here? Oh! <gasps> Kinda knows it blew. Uh, I blinked from a small crack in the ground and crouched to reach it. I found a coin! Does that mean we can read one of those articles now? God, that was amazing! How did you even spot it? It was perfectly hidden inside that small nook. Bridges are really cool. <laughs> Easy peasy. I should send you on a quest to collect all the one gold coins scattered around the streets of the big cities. Hey, that's way too depressing. We don't need money that bad. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so. The data and the animal tractor are split into three parts. Part 1, part 2, and the special entry. Tara was about to select the first tab level when she suddenly stopped her pointer over the screen. What's wrong? Did you change your mind? Want to go for how to find a girl you've just met first? Don't be stupid! I was just wondering. Are you sure we want to start from part one? The technical data is usually presented in the second half of a scientific paper. So the first part could be a general introduction to the topic? We probably don't need to read that. I get that we're not sure how many more of the, uh, these coins we're going to find, but... You know... We may be unable to tell what they're talking about if we start from part 2. Anyway, I'll leave the decision to you, Charles. Mm, okay, 
It's better to be safe than sorry. We'll start from part one. Science Monthly, the Animal Director, part one. Welcome to our monthly corner dedicated to the branch of magical, magical science. Branch? Well, no wonder. The contraptions aren't powered by magic. Today we're presenting a special report on all there is to know about the amazing Animus reactor. To properly explain how this machine works, we first had to delve into the structure of souls. The souls inhabiting all living beings were originally part of a bigger mass of spiritual energy. This incredible entity was later divided into multiple parts, creating what would then become our souls. When a living being reaches the end of its life, its spirit returns to its ancient place of origin. All souls can be divided into smaller sections, which are classified into three hundred and seven pole. Here we go again. The Han and pole, just like Hamlin said. Inside a free larger Han known as Tenkon, Jinkon, uh, Jikon, and Ninkon, we fight the Seven Pole. These Seven Pole can be considered the fundamental parts that define the personality of an individual. The Pole act as the source of the seven types of desire that drive an individual during their life. Hmm. The theory sounds a little overly complex. But it's interesting nonetheless. It has been noted that spiritual and magical power are directly connected. Individuals with sizable souls have more magical energy than they can tap into. This is one of the unchangeable laws of our reality, and it has been found to be present in all worlds. This is all incredible spiritual powers. No wonder they're so strong. Meh. Their souls are nothing compared to what Eve used to be. I still remember when I helped her part her spirit so she could give ye humans yours. Good times, good times. Really? What? <gasps> Look, you can't blur out! Brought out of the same revelation like that one, like it's nothing. But I was simply reminiscing about the past. Oh, for Eve's sake! Look, let's just, let's just forget about that for now, okay? I'll think about the implications of that crude bomb later. I need a moment to pull myself together right now. Yeah. Let's continue with the article. Oh, I go to the bathroom. Uh, and I would say, let's continue with our goal, yeah. The more spiritual energy an individual holds, the larger quantities of magical power they can generate. Okay, we get this already. No wonder that Lady Masquerade's power is said to be simply out of this world. But is it possible to increase the magical output of a limited number of souls under specific circumstances? And with enough of this energy, can a mortal being step into the realm of the divinity and bend the reality to their will? Many researchers believe this could be the case. The first animus reactor was built to demonstrate the validity of this theory. Well, Epidemic did say it's a contraption that proliferates souls. So this animus reactor simply attempts to generate more magical power. I see. The research was first started by our enlightened Genesis Emperor of all Horus, Megadon Kiss himself. Careful fool! They sure have unique, uh, quite unique names! And here it starts with the historical explanation. What a waste of time. Charles scrolled down the article while scanning through its paragraphs. She just keeps going. Does that mean it took them a lot of time to build something like that? <gasps> Here it says that he finally had managed to build a working one. And then... Alex and the girls carelessly looked at the last sentence of a long paragraph. And able to control its power, the prototype exploded and robbed us of our ancient homeworld. What? 
Hold on! Have they built something that dangerous on our world? Nonetheless, our most brilliant minds continue to research without losing hope. After many tribulations, a new team of scientists finally built a perfectly safe animus reactor? Stay with us while we delve into the mechanics of this incredible feat of engineering in part 2. I knew it! All the important bits are in the second part! Screw this thing! Well, at least we know that they destroyed their own world? Thanks to, thanks to the prototype? At least I would know how dangerous the animus reactor can be! I'm sure that we will be able to find another one of those coins. Let's keep our eyes open and continue exploring the ship. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, I'm going to turn this whole place upside down. I think Charles may be started, starting to lose it. Alex took his angry wife by hand and resumed exploring the mothership with the rest of the girls. In the next episode. <laughs>